know your worth and add tax to it. Add shipping costs and add insurance. Do that thing with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Attitude and give me base. Eyes, lips, face. Ha! guys so welcome to this chit chat get ready with me transformation video um i am actually about to start with my makeup we're doing hair makeup and outfit it's a three in one today so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe first i'm gonna start by moisturizing my face we jumping straight into this, okay? I have to get ready in an hour. Cause I'm always last minute. There's a challenge that I am doing today. It has been going around. It's called the don't, don't rush challenge. And so in the beginning, they're like chilling in their lounge suits or they're chilling at home. And then they would like put their hands up to the screen. And then after that, you see the transformation. So I will be doing that with Brown Girl RDH which if you guys do not follow Brown Girl RDH, make sure that you follow them. Um, the owner, I'm friends with, her name is Martel, and she put this page together to give back in the dental community and also to really inspire brown girl, brown guys that, you know, there's not a lot of us in the dental field. And it's just like an overall positive group and like very inspiring. I found out about them like a little over a year ago and they have inspired me a lot. So it's a, it's a movement I support. So she was like, girl, you want to be in the Don't Rush Challenge? But this one that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing it in scrubs. So I was like, yes, ma'am. I have to send my portion by two o'clock today, y'all, and it is one o'clock. So I'm in a rush. Sipping on my Stella Rose today. Finally went to the store and got my hands on this wine. It is so bomb. Okay, let me put this one on silence, honey. And I basically just use a facial oil and then a moisturizing cream. Those are my top two. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we can come back and chat, honey. Okay, brows are done, honey. We are already looking 10 times better. Makeup is therapy, y'all, I swear. I feel like especially in the middle of everything that's been going on lately, YouTube is becoming my getaway. I feel kind of productive, I'm working on a project so I don't have to focus on everything that I'm seeing in the news and what's going on out there. What I've been doing lately before I apply foundation or concealer, I've been using my setting powder because I find that the product just lasts a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty setting powder on my lids and I'm just gonna brush that like that and see. It just like kind of absorb any type of like oils from your skin and so it creates just a better foundation I feel like for your makeup. And so I'm gonna go with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and I'll just dab a little bit of that on my lids. I'm gonna do like the most basic and natural eyeshadow ever because my lashes are already gonna be a statement. I'm gonna go with my Morphe 39A palette. We're gonna start with just a transition shade like I always do. Y'all know like this is my go-to. Like I love using this as a base. So I was like, you know, I'm doing a chit chat, get ready with me, ask me some questions, some juicy topics, ask away. And we got some questions, honey. Um, somebody says dating. What y'all wanna know about dating? I'm just gonna guess that dating is on hold right now with this coronavirus. I'm already booed up, but I don't know. I mean, girl, dating is complicated. I just Okay, I'm gonna use this right here, you guys. A dating in 2020 is canceled. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that, but y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all are dating or whatever, how, how dating is going on. But um, if I have an advice about dating, honestly, is that focus on you. <laughs> Period. Focus on you, sis. I just feel like one thing that's a no-no with dating is investing too much of your time into somebody else too soon because you don't know where that's going. So my mom always told me um, a man should always be into you more than you're into him. Don't ever like show a man that you're so much into him because then that's when they start flexing on you. 
and a lot of men are super immature and you just don't want to deal with that another thing with dating don't do the rebound thing don't date as the rebound or date for a relief like you know like drag somebody and that's for guys and girls don't drag somebody into um like a relationship with you if you're not ready to commit or if you're not ready to give 100 percent know your worth and add tax to it add tax add shipping cost and add insurance okay Okay, now let's go ahead and blend, blend, blend. I'm pretty much done with all the shadows that I wanted to use. We're just gonna blend everything to make it look like one, you know? I'm using the NYX, what is this? The NYX Epic Ink Liner. We're just gonna do like a simple wing. I'm going to prime my own lashes with a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Colossal by L'Oreal. Lashes are on, lashes are popping. Do you plan to go back to school for your bachelor in dental hygiene? That is a question that I get asked a lot. I have thought about it. I've thought about it and there is a 90% chance that I am gonna do that and can do that process online. And I wanna do it because I feel like if you have any chance to further in your education and to do more, then why not? You know, like that's something I've thought about. Um, and for some of you guys that may not know, the main difference between getting having your associate in hygiene and your bachelor is that with your bachelor, you can do a little bit more work. Like you can do, you can teach dental hygiene. You can work more outside of the operatory and do more public work when you have your bachelor. Um, but someone that just wants to work as a dental hygienist in an office, you don't. It doesn't require you having your um, bachelor. I love learning. For me personally, even though dental hygiene was hard, my favorite thing about it was the challenge. Like, I love the challenge. I love challenging my mind, my brain. I love working on projects. I love going home and knowing that I have something that I'm gonna, you know, a task that I'm going to accomplish. I love the growth process of it. Um, I even thought about going to be a dentist, honestly, but that kind of fell off because it's just not what I see myself doing at the moment. How are you physically and mentally during this time? Love from England. England? Oh my God. Uh, England viewers? Are you serious? Let me know what country you guys are from in the comments down below. Like what country you guys are in at the moment? I don't know I have viewers from England, honey. Let me find out. I have a place to stay if I go to England. Oh. But how I've been feeling mentally, girl, a hot mess. I, I'm always looking for like ways to, I'm always looking for ways to uplift people around me and myself, honestly, even in the darkest times. So I've just been doing what I can. Like you guys, any times that I can, I've just been praying. When I don't understand something, when something just doesn't feel right, I just say a quick prayer or like I would read a verse that helps me a lot. I go on Netflix and watch some of my favorite shows. I've been watching the season three of Ozark right now. It's, it's like an up and down, like one day, I feel like, okay, we're gonna get through this. Things are calming down. The next day I'm like, oh shit. The end of the world is here. You know, my grandmother, I'm so worried about her because she is in Florida. And you know, even though she's been in the house locked down for weeks now, like my aunt, she's a nurse and she won't let her go anywhere because of this, which I'm like, grandma, I know you love your church outings. I know you love your church peeps and your friends, but you gotta stay locked down in the house very i'm like worried you know like how can you not praying that everything turns out best girl it's like there's not much you can do you know but yeah that's how i've been feeling you guys also i would like to know how y'all have been feeling mentally you know let me know in the comments down below when are you going to start doing lives on here in youtube <laughs> i thought about doing lives i just feel like i don't know i just feel like i would be mad awkward on a live but I think I'm gonna start, I'm, I think I'm gonna do like a get ready with me live on um, on Instagram. And this is by <clears throat> Zay and Jazzy Mom. Shout out to you girl, because she is one of my day ones um, on here. A lot of you guys like always, like have been riding with me for the longest and I see y'all. I am planning a giveaway for y'all, but we gotta get to 70K. 
okay so make sure you subscribe because once we get 70k girl you know the giveaway will be coming your way I want to thank you if you are a day one. Thank you if you constantly come on here and watch me. Y'all really like ride with me. Y'all, this setting powder is bomb. This is Fenty Beauty. It's in a shade Honey. It's their Pro Filter setting powder. But this has a little brown tint to it. So it matches perfectly with my skin tone. What are your goals for 2020? Realistic goals. I'm going to say, I'm going to say realistic goals because right now, all of my goals that I had for 2020, they're looking like, mm -mm, honey, Corona's like, mm -mm. you gotta manifest it. But one of them, of course, is to launch my business, y'all. Like, that's my first thing, is to launch my online cosmetic slash hair business. But my goal was to kind of launch everything this month, the month of April. Yeah, so things have kind of changed, but that is one of my goals. My second goal for 2020 is to hit 100k on youtube to reach that 100k milestone on youtube because you know you just gotta have goals for yourself yeah you know hence why i need y'all to go ahead and subscribe honey i've been dropping videos every other day for y'all at this point third goal in 2020 is to um moving to a new state that was another goal that i had for this year that also will probably be on hold but those are my top three goals and i will keep you guys updated eventually on like where all, everything stands because like i said right now everybody's plans i'm gonna go ahead and go with this nice blush that i have here this is from black radiance i got this from target and i love this blush because it's more of like a smoked red how did you know that being a dental hygienist was the career for you um i didn't know if dental hygiene was a hundred percent a career for me at first you know the whole process of it i knew that i was intrigued i was interested and that was enough for me to be like all right let me give it a try 100% I knew that this career was from me I would say when I started seeing patients in clinic and um I was like I'm not grossed out by this I actually love this you know it's one of those things like you hear of people start nursing school and then they're like mm -mm, heck no peace out like you know I feel like you won't know 100% this is the career for you until you really start school because you're gonna go through some tests and some tribulations honey that are gonna have you like do I really want this and I kept like, I kept pushing. I kept saying, yeah, what's the next step? Okay, what's the next challenge? Like, I was down for it, you know? Mind you, it was kicking my butt, but I was still willing to push forward. So just, just a lot of the trials and a lot of the hardships that I encountered was like an affirmation for me that I wanted to keep going with this, I would say. Any advice for an upcoming 20th young woman? Oh, I love this question. God, any advice for a young? So many. Um, sis, let me tell you something. Work on your goals. But at the same time, don't be too hard on yourself. Allow yourself to make mistakes and allow yourself to be confused at times because that's all a part of growth. All of the hardships that you're gonna go through those are basically molding you into that woman that you're supposed to be. <laughs> really find out what you really want for you. Your 20s, that's the age where like family and friends tend to affect decisions and they tend to really think like that they can, you know, write your story they can god has your story already written out you need to follow the path you know get to the bottom of what you truly want and go after it if you want to be an artist but your parents are like no we want you to be a doctor that is not what you want to do you know do what makes you happy at the end of the day i'm going to go with this victoria's secret velvet matte liquid cream lipstick it's not going to stay like that because i'm going to have a gloss on top how long did it take you to become a dental hygienist? You guys, this is probably the most asked question on my channel. <laughs> it took me three and a half years. So a year and a half for my prerequisites and two years for the program. Um, so it's a total of three and a half to four years. Okay. 
everyone is different but that was the um lunch for me are you and your boyfriend living together now if so how was the transition so we are not currently like officially living together like officially this lip gloss is um nyx lingerie this is a shimmer oh y'all see that honey oh so when i move out of the state we will be moving in together um oh. well hold on honey so yeah i feel like you know especially we did long distance for like three years so when he came back from Germany and he was, we were spending like so much time together and we came from like long distance to you're all up on me all day, every day. It, it was, it was different at first, you know, because you got to learn how to live and spend a lot more time with somebody that like, if they get on your nerve, you can't be like, I'm gonna call you later. No, they are right there. <laughs> so, but it's like, you know it at the same time it's like i wouldn't want it any other way and I, see ooh, and we want to blend that in because i hate when i do this and like I, I don't blend it in right and so it's just looking like it's sitting there and it still look like it belongs there you know okay i'm gonna go ahead and get the hair that we are wearing today because a portion of this video is also the hair so i will be right back so we can get into hair details um this wig was sent to me by Kalaihi hair okay i've collaborated with them numerous times and their hair is good quality they're fast i just feel like it's one of those companies that's like you can um definitely find some good quality cheap hair on their website so they've sent me this bob this is like kind of like a mid-length bob with some bangs honey we'll have the details on this wig in the description box down below but it does come kind of bleached this lace looks just thinner and also the sides are pre-plugged okay honey play coming in with the good quality hair all right i'm gonna go ahead and just cut that lace off myself right now you don't have that much work to do you might not have to glue anything down it's just so simple to work with I need to flatten this side because there's a side that's looking bumpy and we, <laughs> we're not doing that. This wig by Klahi right now is giving me all types of vibes. This wig comes in prepared for you, I feel like. So I grabbed my got to be spray because I thought I was going to need to glue it down and I don't even have to do that. Always secure your wigs when you're going out, okay? I'm going to cut some of these little flyaways. I want them sitting like on top of my lids, you know, like perfect. I do wish that the hair on the wig was a little thicker because I feel like there's not a lot of body around the back. But I'm going to curl the ends a little bit inwards to give me the same vibe that the bangs are giving me. This wig is bomb. Get your hands on this wig, y'all, by Klaihi Hair. I will have the link in the description box down below for you all. I probably do want those things a little bit more curled up. There we go. Makeup is done, hair is done. I do have a lot more questions that you guys have asked me, but I'm actually gonna do like a sit down part two to this video um, and answer the rest of those juicy topics because there's a lot more juicy topics. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed so we can get into the final look of this video. So I will be right back. And girl, let's just say, I'm feeling myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like a full view of my outfit. I'm just gonna reposition my ring light. Um, but yeah, this is like the final makeup and hair. I'm wearing this dress from Fashion Nova. This was really a dress that I purchased for like a Christmas party and I never wore it. This is the final look. I am loving how my makeup turned out, loving how this hair turned out as well. Don't forget to check out Klahi here in the description box. I will have all the details and also a coupon code for y'all. Let me know what you think about this makeup look, this hair look, this outfit look. I'm also gonna insert a TikTok that I also made at the end of this video. But anyways, follow me on social media so y'all can keep up with my life and keep up with some of the things that I post. Um, you can find me at Taja for Juiced. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to 70K, you guys. We are so close. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.